Patients uh, with uh, differentiated thyroid cancer uh, can develop distant metastasis or local metastasis, which in the beginning are treated with the radioiodine, but then in a certain percentage of cases, uh, this treatment became no more effective. How we can uh, verify that the, the, the metastases are radiorefractory. We can verify this because the whole body scan is negative. The whole body scan after radioiodine treatment is negative. We know that the patients have, has, uh, let's say, lung metastases, but they do not show up at whole body scan. These patients are considered radiorefractory. Then there is also another group of patients in which uh, the lesions are still evident at whole body scan, but despite the repetition of the treatment, they are growing. So this means that the iodine is not more effective in reducing or stopping the growth of the disease. These two kinds of patients can be considered radiorefractory. At this point, they can uh, consider to be treated differently. No more radioiodine, but with different drugs. Nowadays, we have some drugs that can be used in these patients, but more than to be radiorefractory, patients should have also a progressive disease. In other words, we have to first verify that there is no more radioiodine benefits, and then we have to verify that the disease is in progression. What means that the disease is in progression? Means that we can verify an increase of the size of the lesion between two CT scans. And if uh, between these two CT scans there is an increase of at least 20% of the size of the lesion, this is a progressive disease. What period of time? More or less six months, or a little bit longer, up to 12 months. Okay, so the increase can happen also in 12 months. If the increase happen, happens in a longer time, this is not a real progression to be treated with these drugs. Because thyroid tumors are in general slowly growing tumors. So if the growing is very low, we do not need to treat them. If the growing started to increase and became evident between two CT scans, this is the moment to treat the patient.